Welcome to Channel Today in History, in today's video we will talk about the day, November 6, 1991. End of KGB. The KGB, Russian acronym for the State Security Committee, was the main name of the Soviet Security, Intelligence and Espionage Agency, as well as being the organ of the secret police. The KGB was the Soviet equivalent of what in the United States is represented by the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, the Counterintelligence, the Division of the Federal Bureau of Investigations, FBI, the Federal Protection Service, and the Secret Service. The Soviet agency was in charge of obtaining and analyzing all the nation's intelligence information. It disappeared when the Soviet Union dissolved. From then on, the Foreign Intelligence Service emerged, which began to direct espionage activities outside Russia. The evolution of the KGB begins with the creation of the Chaika, six weeks after the Bolshevik Revolution, in order to defend the incipient Sovietization of the state from its powerful bourgeois enemies, among which was the White Army. Chaika was willing to brutally suppress dissent and to interrogate and torture those suspected of being counter-revolutionaries. Lenin assigned him a key role in the survival of the new regime. With Lenin's approval, a new Chaika Foreign Intelligence Department, the OEI, was established on December 20, 1920. He was the forerunner of the KGB Directorate General, FCD. Chaika itself was renamed the Unified Political Directorate of the State, OGPU a name it would retain throughout much of Stalin's early term. In March 1953, the Ministry of the Interior, MVD, and the Ministry of State Security, MGB, merged into a single institution, the Ministry of the Interior. In December, the MVD was split. Because of the reform, the MVD retained its police and law enforcement powers, while the second agency, the new KGB, performed internal and external security functions and was supposed to report to the Council of Ministers. On July 5, 1978, the KGB was renamed the KGB of the Soviet Union, and its president had a reserved seat on the Council of Ministers. The KGB was liquidated when its boss used the organization's resources to help, in August 1991, carry out the coup d'état aimed at overthrowing Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev. The coup general was arrested and replaced by General Vadim Bakhtin, who was named president of the KGB and ordered its dissolution. On November 6, 1991, the KGB officially ceased to exist. The Federal Security Service of the Russian Federation, FSB in Russian, took over the same affairs as the Soviet KGB. Did you like the video? In the description you will find the blog link with the full article. Give an incentive by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting and sharing with your friends, hugs. Until the next.